So I wanted to go ahead and make a video uh, titled Paul Washer Apologizes. Now the original video of this that I uploaded on my previous channel a couple years ago was actually, I had to take it down because Hardcry reached out to me and asked me to remove it. But I'm going to, in this video, recant word for word what Paul Washer said in that video. So basically, uh, Paul Washer is speaking about a, uh, a back and forth he had with someone at a conference he was speaking at back in 2013. And so after he preached, he had a Q&A session and the per one of the people in the audience stood up and, you know, took the microphone and asked this question or made a statement rather. And he said, Brother Paul, we love the things you preach, but sometimes you say things very hard. You've hurt a lot of Christians feelings with how you say things. I just want to let you know that. Now, Paul Washer's response was word for word. You know, you are right. I don't regret one thing I've said yesterday or today with regard to the truth that is in it. But I do regret some of the things that I've said and some of the ways that I've said them. Sometimes when we are full of passion and we want so much for men to be saved that we can just sometimes say things that aren't said in the right way. I don't care about my reputation. I just want to be right with God. So if I have offended you because I've said something that is in the Bible, I don't apologize for that. But if I have said things the wrong way, and I think sometimes I have, then I ask you to forgive me for that. Because again, the only thing I want is to be right with God. And so ultimately, Paul Watcher's point is, I will not apologize for truth that is preached from the word of God. If it offends you, that's your problem. And you need to look at why it offends you and repent. Now, I want to, I want to, in light of this response that Paul made, I want to give you guys an instance in my life where I've had to deal with the same kind of issue. So one day, uh, a couple years ago, I went over to my grandmother's house and sometimes I go over there just to hang out and I was sitting on her, her patio and uh, about an hour into me being there, a friend of hers, uh, a woman from her church came over just to visit her and she comes outside. She hears that I'm outside out back. So she comes outside and sits down at the, uh, the table with me. And so immediately she starts talking about this young lady at her church and she's like, Keith, you know, you got to check this girl out. She's Man, you know, the, the, the ladies at my church have heard you're handsome and, you know, uh, 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 this woman that I'm friends with, she has a daughter. And let me just show you her. And so she scoots her chair next to me and she pulls out her phone. She starts flipping through the girl, the pictures of, of the girl. And the girl's just dressed like she's in a club, really tight skirts. I mean, she's just showing a lot of skin. You know, I, and it's like, and, I'm, and she's showing me these pictures and she's like, yeah, look at how good she looks. She's sexy, isn't she? I mean, she's pretty, right? And I'm like, oh, she's, she's pretty. She's pretty. And then she goes, um, yeah, yeah, you know, uh, so I, just give me your number and I'll, you know, I'll give it to her. And, you know, and, and, and one thing she said that really turned the lights on for me when she said, she, she goes, you got to be careful with this one. She's real fast. And she kind of like was nudging me in my shoulder, like as to say, she's quick to sleep with you. Like, that's a good thing. So I had to remind her that I'm actually a Christian. And so I started to ask her questions. Okay. About what the Bible says about fornication. Okay. And, and I started to ask her about, now I already made up my mind that I wasn't going anywhere near this young lady, but I kind of wanted to make a point to this woman that was supposed to be a Christian that was trying to entice me to sleep with this girl and hadn't mentioned anything about her life in, or in, in any regards to godly living. It was just hook up and, you know, you guys can just hook up and date. And so I started to ask her about her, her, you know, her devotion to the word and, you know, how was her prayer life and all these type of things. And it wasn't long before she got the message and you could see her face change when she figured out what I was doing. And so she kind of said, all right, all right. And she got up from the table and walked away. And so a couple of days later, my grandmother calls me and she says, what did you say to my friend? Why is she so off putting? Like, why is she so upset with you? She, and I just told her, I told her what happened and I told her how I responded about it. And my response was, because I remember I thought about Paul Washer's response to this question. And I said, I'm not apologizing for anything I said. I'm not apologizing for anything I've said because everything I said was biblical in regards to this young lady. And I confronted her with how she was bringing her to me. But if I said, if I said it in, a, in an aggressive way, I apologize for that. But I don't think I did do that. And so my grandmother kind of understood where I was coming from. Um, but that was one instance in my life and I've had others, I've had others where I just shared the gospel and people were off putting to me and people, you know, uh, uh phoned my, my boss and were upset with me. So I've had situations where I just shared the gospel in a calm way and people were mad. That's what's going to happen. Okay. But 
for, for us, it doesn't matter as long as we're sharing truth. And listen, you, there, there's, there's, not, there's no amount of love in this world that's going, that you're going to rebuke a sinner in truth and love and they're going to like it. There's no way to easily put that truth. There's no way to conf easily confront a sinner with their sin. Okay, it's going to upset them at all times. So all that we have to be concerned with is that we stick to what the Bible teaches. And uh, everything else, God will work out. So thank you for listening. God bless.